This is the most famous and the most photographed piece of medieval architecture in the world. I'm a tour guide and I'm excited to show you Rottenburg of der Tauber. The most popular town on Germany's famous romantic road is known for its well-preserved old town and a fairy tale atmosphere. Streets are packed with beautiful half-timbered houses, churches and stone towers dating back to the Middle Ages thanks to a string of lucky historical events. The town was spared from destruction during the Thirty Years' War in the 1600s, but after the bubonic plague outbreak, the city lost its power and became poor for the next couple of centuries. Weak economy prevented modernization and thus saved Rothenburg's medieval architecture. Next string of lucky events happened during World War II as Rothenburg was spared from destruction. The city was occupied by Nazi forces, but Allied bombers missed the target due to heavy fog. Before the second airstrike, Allies managed to make a deal with the Nazis, who simply left during the night. That is why Rothenburg Old Town is one of few places where you can still enjoy the original medieval charm and beauty. One of the charming streets that changed very little since the medieval times is Hafengasse. A short, cobbled, pedestrian-only street starts under the picturesque Marcus Tower and leads to the main square. It is lined by old timber houses with shops, cafes and restaurants spreading their tables around. Another street on your list should be Schmiedegasse. This sloping cobble street runs downhill from the main square. This is the busiest street in town as it takes you to the most picturesque intersection of Rottenburg where we started this video. No wonder that this is also the main shopping street lined with small shops and restaurants. This street eventually becomes Spitalgasse that is home to the historic, well-preserved medieval hospital complex. Spitalgasse runs under the picturesque Sieberstrom Tower and ends with an impressive Spital gate protected by a tower and a round bastion. Along its way, you will pass a medieval hospital complex. Interestingly, the complex includes an old hospital kitchen housed in a building with a pointed tent roof and round staircase tower. Another beautiful walk is along Herngasse, one of the widest streets in town running west from the main square passing the old town hall. It is lined with beautiful half-timbered houses with colorful facades and charming little shops. Part of the street even serves as a small square with a fountain. Street ends with a tunnel running under the castle tower and charming castle gates leading straight to the castle garden. But there is no castle. Unfortunately, it was destroyed by an earthquake in the 1300s and was never rebuilt. Instead, castle's location has become the garden. The only remains of the former castle is St. Blaise Chapel. Next to it are panels explaining the structure and function of the former castle grounds. There is also a copy of medieval pogrom stone, a reminder of the dark events in 1298 when the Rothenburg Jews were executed. Park has geometric flower beds from the 18th century with eight sandstone figures representing the four seasons and the four elements. But the park's main feature are observation platforms offering stunning views as Rothenburg rises high above the steep banks of the river Tauber. You'll be drawn to the wonderful view of the old town and the river valley. The heart of the town is its market square. It is surrounded by beautiful historic buildings with colorful facades. This is a great place to soak in the atmosphere and enjoy cafes and restaurants as most of them spread their tables outdoors. In the corner of the square is a water fountain from the 1600s adorned with a statue of St. George slaying the dragon. On the top of the sloping square is a medieval building called Council Tavern. It features a glockenspiel with mechanical figurines. Every full hour the windows open to tell the tale from 1631. On the left is a figure of a general and on the right is a figure of Rothenburg's mayor. The mayor is lifting his mug and chugging it until the bells cease. During Thirty Years' War, a Catholic General Tilly with 40,000 men penetrated the walls of Protestant Rothenburg. General condemned the mayor and the city councillors to death and wanted to plunder the city. Nevertheless, he was offered a welcome drink from a beautiful huge cup which was normally reserved for kings and emperors. The general promised to spare the city if someone had the courage and strength to empty the entire cup which held over 3 liters or almost a gallon in one gulp. The old mayor somehow managed to empty the cup in one gulp and thus save the city. But the most impressive building on the sloping square is the town hall. It is made of two buildings. The original town hall was in white gothic building dating from the 1200s. 
After a fire in the 16th century, the town hall was rebuilt and expanded with a renaissance building in front of it. But one of the most interesting features of the town hall is its tower, which stands over 60 meters or 197 feet tall and offers stunning view. You'll have to climb about 220 steps up a tight corkscrew staircase. At the top, you need to pay the entrance before heading on a short ladder through a small opening leading to the top. But be aware that the very last part is extremely narrow and steep and requires a certain level of fitness. Main Square is also the starting point of a famous night watchman tour. A guide dressed up as a night watchman walks you around after dark to tell you about the town's history. Night Watchman was a policeman of the Middle Ages who patrolled the streets until sunrise and examined all suspicious characters. Nowadays, this is one of the best ways to learn fun facts about some of Rothenburg's buildings, about the role of the Night Watchman and other fun medieval tidbits addressing crime and punishment. One hour tour takes place every night of the week and is in English. To join the tour, meet in the Market Square at 8 p.m. No reservations are required and you pay for the tour to the Night Watchman directly in cash at the end of the tour. More amazing history awaits you in one of the most unique and intriguing museums dedicated to the history of crime and punishment during the Middle Ages. Very interesting, a little bit scary and impressive museum houses an extensive collection related to crime, law enforcement and methods of punishment from the medieval time. You can see instruments of torture, tools used for execution and corporal punishment alongside a number of drawings that show the application of devices. Topics include witch hunts, public executions, methods of torture and legal system of the time. The museum helps you reflect on how societies have evolved over time and how ideas of justice and punishment have changed. To properly experience this unique museum, be sure to use an audio guide to learn more about exhibits and its historical significance. Rothenburg was on the Protestant side during devastating 30 years of wars between Protestant and Catholic states but its main Lutheran church was originally built as a Catholic church. Even more, Rothenburg sits on a famous pilgrimage route, the Camino de Santiago, also known as the Way of St. James. That is why a Gothic church from the 1300s is dedicated to St. Jacob the Apostle, also known as St. James. The interior houses beautiful stained glass windows and an array of valuable artworks and religious artifacts. During the shift of faith from Catholic to Protestant, the church became the main Protestant sanctuary. Unusually for Protestant church, it kept a relic, the blood of Jesus Christ, kept in the cross of the wooden altar of the Holy Blood. A remarkable wooden carved altar from the 1500s is depicting scenes from the life of Christ. Here is also an impressive main altar from the 1400s, one of the most important high altars in Germany. The central altarpiece shows Christ on a cross surrounded by four angels. Below it is Saint Jacob, also known as Saint James, the patron saint of the church in company of Mary and other saints. Besides the central figures, there are also impressive panels. You should walk around the altar to also see the backside of the panels as they tell a story of the way of Saint James to Santiago de Compostela. Mastra in Rothenburg is a traditional cookie-like pastry called Schneeballern or Snowball. These fried dough balls are coated with powdered sugar, chocolate, nuts or other delicious toppings. In the past, they were served only on special occasions such as weddings. As this is a dry pastry with a long shelf life, it has become a popular souvenir. That is why snowballs are available throughout the year in bakeries, pastry shops and cafes around town. Let's return to one of the most photographed scenes in Germany. A little square formed at the intersection of two narrow streets is one of the most iconic and picturesque spots in Rothenburg. Its name translates to small square with a fountain, which is exactly what it is. Square is surrounded by other beautiful medieval houses with colorful facades full of fairy tale charm. This architecture is copied by artists, architects and designers worldwide whenever they have to depict a typical medieval setting in Europe. As this is quite small but extremely popular spot, you should visit it after dinner when all day trippers have left the town. 
But the most impressive experience of Rothenburg is a walk on its medieval city walls. Wonderful walk on the top of the city walls is known as the Tower Trail and remarkably there is no entrance fee and you don't need any tickets. You simply walk on or off the walls whenever you like. The fancy wall surrounds the old town and has 42 towers and 6 city gates. The entire tower trail stretches for 4 kilometers and takes about 2.5 hours. Rothenburg is one of only 3 cities in Germany with intact medieval walls. Walk on the walls will reward you with beautiful view of the town and the surrounding countryside. Along the way, you will see names of people who contributed money for preservation of the wall. You can even go inside some of the towers, but for me, one of the best parts is exploring Spitalgate. Here you can walk under the drawbridge over a moat and explore the interior of an impressive circular bastion from the 1500s. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. My name is Rock, thanks for the thumbs up and for watching and see you next time.